Action figures account for about one and a half billion dollars in the twenty billion dollar U.S. toy industry. You couldn't buy an original female action figure, though, one that wasn't based on a movie or a comic book character, until a New York City mom got the bright idea to put some girl power into the market. Do you want to figure out the secret message <laughs> first? It's one thing to draw inspiration from the heroine Hall of Fame. It's quite another to enlighten a future heroine. It kind of stands up for girls. They're heroes, so they basically save the world. Julie Kerwin, the mother of two boys, wondered back in 2012 why superhero toys, from Superman to Harry Potter to Star Wars, all seem to be male or male-oriented. We were asking ourselves, why does Spider-Man appeal to a boy of four and a man of 40, but there's no female equivalent? This must be the end. Her solution, focus not on creating a new superhero, but instead on superpowers. I took a blank periodic table of elements and I started writing in character traits. Hence the company name, I Am Elemental. Its debut series, Courage, consists of seven female action figures each representing a trait that defines courage. They are bravery, energy, honesty, industry, enthusiasm, persistence, and fear. Along with a friend, Dawn Nado, who since left the company, Kerwin began testing her ideas with friends. There was no toy, and we started getting the most amazing emails back from our friends, saying, I cannot believe the conversation that I just had with my child. Kerwin poured a few thousand dollars into two years of research and design tweaks leading up to a Kickstarter campaign in May of 2014. In just two days, I Am Elemental hit a $35,000 goal. A month later, Kerwin had 2,500 backers in 50 states and on six continents, raising $163,000. We had really a runaway success on our hands. The rare Kickstarter breakout got the attention of Time magazine, naming I Am Elemental one of its 25 top inventions and one of its top 10 toys of 2014. Investors called, so did film and TV reps. Target wanted I Am Elemental on its store shelves, but Kerwin has resisted temptations to go big too quickly. You cannot put my figure on a shelf in Target next to Frozen because no one is going to buy something they've never heard of. Instead, the figures are sold online and in about 50 smaller specialty toy stores around the country. Prices start at $25. I am elemental, not yet profitable, but Kerwin says it might well be in 2017. Ironically, while I sell superpowers, I don't have enough power yet to dictate how the story goes. A story told in part by Kerwin's customers. For the just released second series, Wisdom, a New York City second grader helped Kerwin explain one of the superpowers, mastery. Her teachers taught her, practice makes progress instead of practice makes perfect. perfect. You want to explain to Oliver why? Because basically nothing is perfect. The type of best practice that might bring out the superhero in any of us. All kids should know that real heroes walk among us and shared everyone's powers grow stronger. Julie Kerwin has five more superpower sets sketched out, ready to go into production. She's still getting noticed, too. Last week, the Toy Industry Association nominated I Am Elemental for two awards, Action Figure of the Year and Rookie of the Year, winners to be announced in February at the New York Toy Fair.